Hi, this is Kia from BodieBear.net and eight weeks postpartum yesterday and today I tried something totally new and out of my comfort zone. For those of you that don't know, I am a yoga instructor and uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to running hopefully tomorrow. I'm starting very slow, but I went ahead and I did the daily method, uh, which is kind of like that bar class, but it basically seemed like it involved a lot of principles of um, when you're trying to work on healing your diastasis, of uh, pulling your core in towards your spine. Um, some people call them elevators, depending on what ele what method you use, but you just have to breathe through them as you're corseting uh, your transverse abdominis and basically bringing the abdominis recti in back together. So that was really fun, and um, it was my first time doing anything like it. The instructor, she joked around, she goes, people call it Pilates on crack, and I'm like, mm, okay. And I didn't push myself too hard because I've never done that class and I still need to kind of be functioning and take care of my kids. Um, but the only thing that kind of hit me that was kind of hard about the class was at the very end we had to do this one pose where our backs are against the wall and our sacrum was on the ground. And then we had to bring our knees up so the feet were like tabletop and then bring them up. And uh, try to do that with your abs only. And yeah, it hit me in a really sad way that with the unplanned C-section... Um, yeah, I, I couldn't do it. My muscles were severed. And for those that don't know, I uh, attempted a home birth again and got to full dilation after t a full day of laboring and the baby was surprised breech, so that's why I was a C-section. And I haven't had too much sadness about it, but yeah, when I left class, I think I was driving back home and just kind of started crying because, yeah, my muscles were separated. The only other surgery I've ever had has been um, two ACLs. One from playing college and soccer and one from falling down a mountain. And, um, yeah, I know with my knee uh, from the ACLs, um, I don't have feeling on the surface of my knee. So, like, I can walk into a table and I don't feel it. And sometimes my knee gets bloody because I don't realize I run into stuff until basically my forward momentum stops. So, yeah, I think uh, I had a few moments after class of just kind of really mourning what having my abdominal wall um, separate meant. And that surgery meant. And um, anyway, uh, the class went pretty well. And uh, I know some people, when they do adaptive yoga, like, you know, they can't really move their limbs and everything. So it just is intention and stuff. And they're able to get a little bit of movement going. And I mean, I'm, I'm not at that level of what will happen with my abs. My abs will come back together. Who knows if they'll be strong again or what. I mean, I should be grateful. I'm healthy for the most part my baby's healthy for the most part, but it's just a sort of a shocking realization of just what it meant to have your abs ab severed down well. Anyway, so uh, yeah, sort of a low-key vlog, um, but I was crying a little while ago, and I guess it's just part of this postpartum healing process and coming back. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to be doing one month of daily method before going to fit blogging, and uh, yeah, then we'll see what happens. Um, the Daily Method, it's actually really good for all postpartum moms. And I know the studio by me, they have a three-month special, um, $375. Uh, and you just have to use it one year within having your kid. So we'll see how this one month goes. I did a Groupon special, and then I want to go through my summer and everything of training through my events uh, through October. Oh, how cute. There's a robin taking a bath back there. <laughs> uh, through October. And then maybe in November when I'm done with events and everything for a while, um, maybe I'll jump into that one or that three months of their training because, yeah, based on what I saw today and what I experienced, it really does seem like a really good method of uh, working with your body with intention and corseting for those moms postpartum. doesn't matter C-section or not. All right, Bodie Bear, talk to you later. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.